here, Doctor. Good evening. I'm Dr. Kilmore. And about time, too, I may say. If this is the National Health Service, take me back to the leeches. Well, I'm sorry if I've kept you waiting, Mr... Bigger, Doctor. Mr. Francis Bigger. Bigger? Francis Bigger? Wait a minute, that rings a bell. You must be that chap who goes around saying that doctors and medicine are unnecessary. Well, I, I didn't exactly say that. You see, uh, I deal with the mind. Of course, yes. You see, if one thinks that nothing will happen to one, nothing will. What went wrong? Well, I must have stopped thinking for the moment. Well, let's have a look at you, if you'll just turn over, please. Well, I can't. I mean, I mean I'm in agony. Help him, but, would you, uh, sister? Uh, uh, hang on a sec. Just back a bit. My, my thing's caught. I beg your pardon, Miss Stethoscope. <laughs> Hurts a bit, does it? Mm. Just a whimsy. Mmm, yes, there's quite a bit of bruising there. You, you landed on your coccyx. I did not. I fell on my back. Your coccyx is at the base of the spine, Mr. Picker. Is it? Well, it's the first time I've heard it called that. <laughs> well, I don't think there's any fracture, oh. but we'll x-ray first thing tomorrow. X-ray? Now, what could be wrong? Oh, well, it's just a precautionary measure, Mr. Picker. I bet you say that to all the girls. <laughs> Do you think you'll be able to sleep all right? Oh, yes, of course. You've been a real comfort. Well, I'll give you a local jab to kill the pain if you'll just turn over turn again, over, please. Turn over, turn here, turn there. Wish I'd never come in the first place. Oh, get out of it. Thank you, nurse. Sorry, sister. Fine. Now, this isn't going to hurt. 